the will is as follows. Upon my death, all of my belongings shall transfer to the man or animal that has killed me. Um, and then at the bottom it says Ron Swanson. Could I design my will to have someone to put a bounty on my head, right? I Let's say I have a million dollars in the bank, right? And suddenly oh. I throw it up to the world. I say, hey, the person that kills me, they get to have all of my money. Okay, Could this is I where I'm going to put on my wild speculation hat because okay. I don't have any case law that answers this question for me cleanly. Okay. All right. So what we do know is that you cannot leave property to an animal. Okay. So, um, so that's out. So we have to cross that out. Is um, there any loophole where I can leave a trust in the name of an a, animal or something? You could set up a pet trust for the care of that animal. Nice. But okay. you would have to leave it to a person to care for the animal. So we could say I'm leaving it to Bob to support an animal, the animal who kills me. And then upon the animal's death. Could it be death, a wild animal, like a grizzly bear? <laughs> yes. you could. It could theoretically be for the care of the grizzly bear. Okay. It would have to be, there would have to be a mechanism, I guess, to make sure we're caring for the right grizzly bear. So okay. we have to find the grizzly bear. So uh, what, it could, from it what, I'm hearing, be a person. what I'm hearing is, and we can, we can determine who this beneficiary is, if when, it's they have, when they have killed me, if it's yeah. ascertainable. So my body has to be in their stomach. Or whatever. Or, there gotcha. might be a bloody... Ch- God, when I was a kid, I lived in Alaska when I was a kid, and there was a... We had moose that came down into the city during the winter because the roads were paved. Yeah. Um, and they didn't like walking in like four feet of snow. So I walked oh my on God. the street. Moose are huge, right? They are huge. Um, and the hill had their calves and stuff. And then one time a... Bear came down. Bears usually don't come down into the base, but they did. And wow. it killed one of the moose and it dragged their <laughs> bloody corpse across <laughs> all of the neighborhood. So, in my backyard, there was just this graphic trail of blood. Like, we didn't, weren't sure 100% which bear killed it, but we knew it was. Uh, we probably were sure. Actually, I, I, I have to ask my dad um, or my mom. I think my mom was. But which, if they could identify which particular bear, they probably could. The one with a lot of blood on their face <laughs> was probably the one who did it. So the degree, you can identify it, whatever signs you have. Like, gotcha. That works. Cool. Um, the, Sweet. Okay, great. And now, you, not you can leave stuff to a person. Okay. So the, obviously, you leave stuff to a person, and you can define that class uh, a person the by... The person that murdered me. The person who murdered me. The question, though, use, the word murder is the magic word that makes me... That raises the wild what about card killed? issue. He specifically uses the terminology "killed me." Killed and yes, those killed, are synonymous. murder. Those are the triggering event. Well, murder. Well, they're not the same. But okay. um, God, you guys went too much law school. But like, <laughs> you can kill someone without murdering them. So okay. murder requires malice. Okay. Um. So if I accidentally. If I was backing out of my parking space and then I accidentally and hit you, th- that would be manslaughter because I didn't mean to kill you. Gotcha. Um, but if someone meant to kill you and they were in control and they plotted and all the other things, then it would be murder. Gotcha. But if it was like an accident, um, well, if the whole thing was an accident, like if I meant to shoot the person next to you and shot you, that's still murder because I intended to kill somebody. Yeah. You don't get like a accident. You don't get like a mistaken identity <laughs> murder. You miss. Uh, yeah, Go missing far. doesn't get you off the hook. Gotcha. But like, but, if, but either way, so there, and it would depend on how they killed you. Because in most states, they have what's called a slayer statute. Okay. Um, and that means that if you did intentionally murder somebody to benefit from their estate then you get disinherited and you'll probably also go to jail. So um, in this in this Slayer law was entirely was based on disproportionately people killing their spouses for the money. Wow, and it, really? Yeah, it's usually your spouse. If, just also another thing, I don't do criminal law, but just generally, if you're going to die, you're way more likely to die from someone you know. It's not even close. Yeah. Um, and if it's going to be someone, it might be your spouse. So... Um, Depends how your marriage is going. Um, it also depends on how if they're broke or whatever. Uh, but anyway, but so the Slayer statute, if the court ha- in the court, it is in, and it's important that in most states, including Georgia, they don't have to convict you of murder. So they just have to have. They don't have to meet the beyond a reasonable doubt requirement like a murder trial would be or a manslaughter, whatever the criminal trial is. They have to meet a preponderance of the evidence standard 
that it's, it's like a civil case. So instead of like having to be like 99% sure, they can just be like 75% sure that you killed them. Um, and if that's the and if they think that's the case, they can disqualify you as a beneficiary. Gotcha. So, so a slayer is in is disqualified as a yeah. beneficiary. But, but that that foils but, my. Plan. But this creates tension because okay. very few will say it goes to the person who kills me. Yeah, it go. It might say it goes to my wife, and then my wife kills me. Gotcha. Um, then well, I don't have a wife, but nonetheless, my husband. If, he, <laughs> if I said everything goes to my husband, then my husband poisons me. Um, so, so this would create a new legal. It would precedent. create tension. I would be surprised if this was clarified. But those those two issues would be at conflict. And okay. honestly, if someone's listening and knows the answer to this, this is this would be a thing I would love. And please send me if you're a nerdy lawyer and you know this answer, <laughs> you have a case site for me. Please send it because I really, really, really want to know how this got how this how this tension gets resolved. Because it seems like very weird public policy to put a bounty on yourself. Yeah. Like so. so Hold on, just to clarify, yes, I mean, that's exactly right. That's a, I want a definitive answer here. If I make a sweepstakes of, hey, I'm an elusive person, I'm, I'm living off the grid, you can't find me. But if you do and you kill me, you can have my fortune. That is not possible Potent Under, okay, you couldn't okay. do it through a will or your estate. Okay. What I would do is create a weird side fund for the sole purpose of <laughs> – this is wildly illegal <laughs> – for the purpose of finding you and killing you. This is a conspiracy – that everyone who's involved is conspiracy to commit murder. This is a terrible <laughs> idea. Let's say your fund was offshore in a country like Somalia that might not be able to enforce laws, okay. but weirdly for some reason had a banking system that you could trust. Okay. But let's like or like what's like with the most dangerous game? Yeah. In like this weird world Hunting where people is fun. You were not under American law or jurisdiction yeah. or a country that respects Honestly, I would have this person committed because I think something <laughs> goes wrong with them. But like mentally, if you have like a bounty, they might need help. Like literal, like uh, maybe more than a hug. But well, like, maybe they just have such a big ego that like they think that they're so you know. I mean, that's what Ron Swanson's maybe. character was. It was like, but it raises lots of questions that I'm probably not prepared to answer from the estate world. But theoretically, <laughs> I w I would say that it's probably that most courts would be reluctant to give money to someone who killed the person. Okay. Um. And then, and then, my other question is: that person obviously is going to prison. Probably, maybe because the court. I mean, if the court I have some, were I have to, some great defense attorneys, you might be able to get off. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but do you if think you're not convicted, you still might not be able to inherit that. The chances of somebody, yeah, that, that's my. If other you're question. really good at killing. Let's let the chance not not the chances of somebody killing me. I'm very weak. Like, don't don't okay, please don't try. I'm, I'm gonna use I'll use like Carol Baskin. Like I don't <laughs> think I don't think she killed her husband. Yeah. But let's say she did. She's done it a really well. And so <laughs> if she had done it, she did a really good job at it. I don't even think a civil verdict can come out against her. But let's say it had, and then then she would be disqualified from inheriting, but still be not walking a free woman. Right. So that's my question. So so if the, someone proves that they have killed me to get the probate, um, yes. th then they Th that, that means they go to jail. Mission. That might yeah. be that might be a prosecutor's jury. That, you put yourself in a really tight bind <laughs> when this situation as the killer. Yeah. That So you'd be rich but you have in to, jail. You have to go under oath to a probate court. Like which is a real court and yeah. tell them I killed this person <laughs> and then try to thread this needle by saying, but I'm not criminal responsible. <laughs> he asked so, me to. So if it says I killed them, you have to show, you have to do it in such a way with an absence of intent to kill yeah. something that was a complete accident where you were not criminally culpable. It would be very, very hard to do. And honestly, if the person did it that way, they might be surprised to find out they were the beneficiary. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay. So, that's interesting. So, so somebody were, killed me by accident. Yeah, and my will accident. said, and my will said that the person who kills me gets to inherit all my things, and they do it by complete accident. They didn't mean that might to be a me. clean case. Gotcha. So that would be a case. I re okay. If so that, this, if that case exists, then I really want. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, then I really want to know about it. I don't care what jurisdiction it was from. It could be from like Australia or something. I'm just really <laughs> curious about any case where this particular fact pattern happened. Yeah. Because. 
I'd want to account for it. It seems really, and to be a fun party story. So like, I think I think that's super interesting. That plus this animal trust, yeah, makes this possible. It is theoretically possible. You can write great. whatever you want down. If you were, if he was my client, I would say. Do you have a plan B? Because you want to have a backup plan for your estate because this, you're, you're, it looks like a mess. And what if no one kills you? The, 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 bigger, the bigger question to have about his estate plan is what if he does not get killed? Yeah. What if he just what, dies what, of a disease? And then that, like everyone what would, else. What would happen? He needs to have some sort of residuary plan. Because okay. if he didn't, it will just pass to his heirs. Gotcha. So his children, his spouse. Like he got married. So he got in, that, in the parks yep. and rec. So it would, it would go to his wife because gotcha. those two. Oh, it would go to his wife and the, and the kid. But I think the kid was a baby. Yeah. No, they're like minors. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would, it would go to them. So That is extraordinarily not interesting. Not his stepdaughters because of, they're not his heirs. She, the stepdaughters can hear from somebody else. I absolutely love it. This show is going to be great. This show is going to be a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable. Um, listening to us um, rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404 738-9538 and you can also leave us an email at the address below.